What's going on? Pursuit of Happiness here. Today is April 11th, 2023. You know what that means if you ride Indian motorcycles. Today, Indian Motorcycle is dropping the new 2024 Elite Models. Here's a sneak peek. Let's see what you think. The Elite family gives us the opportunity to pull out all the stops and offer our customers the best of the best, the top shelf of Indian Motorcycles. I'm Ola Stenegard, Director of Industrial Design for Indian Motorcycle. Both the Pursue and Chieftain are members of the same family, but with different characteristics. The Pursue has a sophisticated, understated and very premium feel that helps experienced riders crush miles in style. When you look at the graphics that sweeps through the bike, it really takes you on a journey and lets you discover all the beautiful details along the way like the contrast cut wheels, the custom stitched embroidered seat, electronically adjustable rear suspension, and the engine with its gloss black finishes and shadow bronze chrome. The Chieftain has a very bold look. Although the same color palette, the sinister satin clear coat, underlined by strong muscle stripes across the bags and front fender, makes this bike stand out in a crowd. When you follow the bronze accents of the Chieftain Elite Super Graphite over black smoke, you'll discover features like the tinted flare windscreen, the floorboards, the adaptive LED headlight, or the wheels with a brand new contrast cut, all of which results in the ultimate powerful style with a striking presence that commands attention. When you see this bike, you know it really means business. The hands-on design approach is extremely important to us in order to achieve the ultimate in craftsmanship and quality. The elite family of Indian motorcycles were crafted to be the ultimate in American V-twin style and exclusivity. So there we have it folks, the new elite models are dropped. Go to IndianMotorcycle.com to look at the photos, maybe do a 360 on there. Uh, build your bike portion of the page. Um, and then leave your comments down below on this uh, video here. And don't forget, like and subscribe to this page. Follow me on Instagram, same handle that you see up above or down below, depending on your phone settings, where I will also be doing a raffle in the very near future, probably in the next week or so. So follow me on Instagram, get all the information uh, about that there. But for this video, we're talking about the Elite Models. You got... The Chieftain coming in at uh, $35,499, so it's round up to $35,500. And the Pursuit, you got at $40,000. Both are going to be $150,000 in the world. So I think the price point is pretty spot on. It's definitely cheaper than a CVO. Um, and it's a one-year limited edition paint release. So... Um, do I think you're getting any money's worth out of this bike? Yes, absolutely. The rides are phenomenal. Um, the quality of the bike is bar down best out of the box, at least in my opinion. Um, what is disappointing me about this bike is the color scheme. And the reason why it bothers me is and I'm pretty sure you know where I'm going with this, is that it reminds me too much of the Jack Daniels bike. I said it. I said it. It's a Jack Daniels bike without a, the Jack Daniels badging. I mean, granted, this year they did drop the Jack Daniels bike with a black and white color scheme with the silver heads on the motor. But the previous years... You had that same color palette. I just wish they did a color palette similar to the 23 Ch uh, Challenger and the 22 Challenger. They were so bold and abstract. The lines were sharp. I was hoping when Indian dropped that little sneak preview yesterday with the bronze sneaking through on the motor that there was some blue thrown in there like the, the Challenger. That's what I was hoping for. But do I think Ole Sandegard did a bad job on this bike? I'm not saying that at all because I think he knocked it out of the park. The lines are crisp. They're beautiful. 
I just wish the color palette was different. So that's my two cents on it. Leave your comments down below. I'm curious to hear what you all have to say. And remember, like and subscribe to this page and follow me on Instagram again for that raffle that's going to be coming out in the next week or so. And until then, I will see you out on the road. Peace.